Hello, everyone. So what is AI denoise? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know what the purpose of AI denoise is, but I do know how it can affect the sound of your voice in your classroom. So a little bit of a backstory. I have a student named Justin who I've taught for three, four years, but I've been teaching him privately for about three to four months now. And he's mentioned to me on more than one occasion when I've yelled something like for like practicing a word or like giving praise. When I got really loud, he would tell me, teacher, I can't hear you or teacher, your voice is really soft. And I thought, well, that's weird because I'm actually speaking very loud right now. So I just kind of chalked it up to something with his device because none of my other students or parents have ever mentioned an issue with my voice. But in the last week or two, I've seen multiple teachers mention on the class and Facebook page that they've been getting complaints from their students or parents that their voice was getting really low, really high, kind of going up and down, back and forth. So it had me thinking back to Justin, hmm, I wonder if this is the same thing. So I did a little bit of digging and I went to my settings and I saw this little check mark here next to the words AI denoise. No idea what that means, but I did some testing with it with my yelling or talking very loud. So you'll notice those little bar for my sound fluctuates as I speak. The louder I speak, the bigger it gets. The softer I speak, the softer it gets or the smaller it gets. So with the box checked, which is the default, so when you log in for the first time to class in, it's always checked or on the AI denoise. So then I tested yelling like I would if I'm yelling a word in class and to see what would happen. So I'm gonna test that now. So look at that little sound bar move. You might want to turn down your volume for a little bit, and I'm going to yell. Watch that bar. Three, two, one. Ah! You'll notice it first jumps up, but as I yell, it disappears, like I'm not even speaking, which obviously I am. So it's cutting off that sound when I'm yelling or speaking very loudly. So now I'm going to uncheck the box or turn off AI denoise. Again, my soundbar is still moving as I speak. Now I'm going to yell again. So get ready, watch the bar. Three, two, one. Ah! Now the bar gets bigger because I'm yelling and my sound is getting louder. So I have no idea what the purpose of AI denoise is, but it does affect the volume of your voice or the microphone. If you are a teacher who uses a lot of loud sounds, loud speaking, especially with younger students, I know with my level ones, I do a lot of let's yell the word or yell the letter. Now I'm thinking back, I'm like, oh no, every time I was yelling these words, could they even hear me? <laughs> and I would notice a lot of them would whisper the word back to me and I'm like, I thought they were just being funny. But now I'm thinking they probably thought I was whispering and not yelling. So if you've had a complaint about your voice volume or if you know you are a loud speaker or if you use a lot of yelling and voice fluctuation in your teaching, you want to turn off or uncheck that AI denoise button. Once you turn it off in one class, the default of off will stay for each additional class. So you don't have to turn it off for every single class. You only have to do it once and then it will stay off each time. So hopefully this video will help you if you've ever had any complaints. And even if you've never had a complaint, like I only had that one student complain, it might be affecting your class and you don't even know it. So hopefully this video helps somebody or lots of teachers with your sound issues you might be having. Goodbye everyone.